Hello. You know, according to the Gospel of Matthew, the words I'm about to read were the final words Jesus spoke while he was on earth to his disciples. Listen to them. They're from Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 and 20. Jesus said, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And surely I'll be with you always to the end of the age. Go and make disciples. Stirring words, aren't they? Challenging. But what do they actually mean? I, I think there's always the danger that they might conjure up in our minds an image of a hellfire preacher on a street corner with a billboard saying, Repent, the end of the world is nigh. I can remember a time when my older sister took me to one side to have a little chat. I was a wee boy. She was nine years old. And she was all fired up with zeal for the lost. So she convinced me there and then to become a Christian. Otherwise, I was bound for hell. <laughs> Naturally, I quickly agreed. And for some times afterwards, my faltering faith, I think, was no more than a sort of divine insurance policy. <laughs> and I'm not sure that that's what Jesus meant when he said, go and make disciples. So how are we meant to go and make disciples? Well, the best way is Jesus' way. When you read the Gospels, you see that what he did was he simply made a habit of going to places where people were. Now, they might be a synagogue or they might be the home of a tax collector. But wherever he went, he brought with him hope of a better life. And he did this with his words, he did this with his deeds, he did this with both words and deeds. And he brought hope in the form of healing, a forgiveness and the offer of a new life. He was a hope bringer. You know, Peter in one of his letters gives us this advice. He says, always be ready to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and with respect. In other words, always be ready for God to use you as a hope bringer. Always be open to God's presence with you, God's sense of timing, and godly nudges for us to say something or do something. If we are ready, God can use us in our words, in our deeds, and sometimes both, to bring the hope of Jesus into people's lives. And I think the key to being a hope bringer is knowing that wherever we find ourselves, we're never alone. Listen again to these words of Jesus. He says, go and make disciples of all nations. And then he ends with these words, and I'm with you always to the very end of the age. Shall we pray? Loving Father, we thank you for the promise that comes with these words, that you are always with us, that whatever situation we find ourselves in, we are not alone. So help us to be open and help us to be ready that we may share in the joy that comes from bringing the hope of Jesus into people's lives. And we ask this in his name. Amen. Are you ready? Have a good week.